In this video, we are going to continue with the Hue installation and focus more on the installation of the Hue components along with any changes we need to make to Hue configuration files. Starting the services and logging in. Let's get started. We will want to start with installing Hue components. We need to choose one of the nodes to install Hue on. Hue is an application that will run on any one of the nodes in your cluster or even on its own separate server. Hue provides, which stands for delete word, and it will delete all of the text for, text for local host. Then click on the I button, guys, and the user login credentials to submit a job. Since this is for test and development purposes, we will also want to keep things simple. Let's go ahead and install Hue on the head node as we have installed all of the interfaces. In a more robust setting, or if you can go with four or more servers, you can use a secondary node for the S name node, Ambari server, Hue components, and others. To install Hue on the head node, we will need to log in directly into the head node. So let's go back and connect through the PuTTY terminal. Log in, choose the head node, and then get login as root user. From the previous video, all of the Hadoop services should still be turned off. To install Hue, we just type in yum install hue plugins. It will ask for confirmation. Type Y and hit enter. It will go through the Hue installation for the plugins. Next, we will want to install Hue. So type in yum install Hue. Type Y for yes and click enter. And it'll go through the installation process. Now that we have Hue installed, we will need to make sure that the configuration file for Hue is set up correctly. All the parameters are set by default are correct. However, we will need to make changes to the location of web HDFS address to have it work properly. To do this, go ahead and edit the Hue configuration file. Open it up via the VI through the following command. VI forward slash Etsy forward slash Hue forward slash conf conf forward slash Hue dot INI. This will go into the VI editor, and then we will want to find the line where web HDFS is defined. Hit the forward slash button so we can search. Search for web HDFS and hit enter. This should find the correct line where you see local host. You'll need to replace it with the internal host name for this node. You can get this information if you do not have it immediately by getting the public DNS address through EC2. If I open up the web browser and go back to EC2 and click on the head node, you will see the public DNS that I can use. Go back to the terminal after you've copied the address, move the cursor over to localhost, and press the letters DW, which stands for delete word, and it will delete all of the text for localhost, for insert, and it will insert the address that we copied previously after we press the paste button. Press escape to exit insert mode, then hold and press shift plus the Z button to save and close VI. Once we have configured Hue, the Hue INI file properly, let's complete our Hue setup by setting up the correct privileges. Type in the following command line, VISUDO. This will allow us to access a pseudo file and give Hue access. Next, add in the following lines by copying first, going to the end of the file, pressing the O button, and then typing in the following for the Hue users. Hue all equals all all. Hue all equals all no pass WD spin and check config. And then we're going to Copy that, do it again for service, paste that again, and this time instead of SBIN, it's going to be BIN, and we're going to put in kill. And then that's it. Press escape to get out of insert mode. Again, shift ZZ to escape and save. Now that Hue is set up, let's go back to start our Hadoop services. 
and we go here. If you do not have your browser open up already, go ahead and open and navigate it to the Ambari login. Go to services, and you'll see here the start all button. Go ahead and click that. It should take a little bit of time to start up your Hadoop services. Once the Hadoop services has complete started up, let's go back to the terminal services, the terminal screen through PuTTY, so that we can start Hue. And you'll type in service, Hue, start, and press enter. You should see Hue loading up and checking the Hadoop components. And the last line should let you know that the Hue service is OK. To test if Hue is working correctly or not, let's go ahead and access Hue through the web service. Hue uses the same address that we had using for the Ambari service, but this time from a different port. Navigate to your web browser and to the same address that you use for the head node, but with the following port. Instead of 8080, we're going to use 8000. This will take you to the Hue login screen. When you log in for the first time into Hue, you will need to set a username and password. Here we will need to use the HDFS as a username because HDFS is the only user that has super privileges in HDFS. So go ahead and use HDFS and then use your own custom password. Just make sure that you write your password down and go ahead and click sign up. And we see that we logged in here. Once in the Hue login screen, you will see multiple icons that you can click on towards the top of the screen. Each of the components of the Hadoop stack, like Hive and Pig. And if you see a little red icon next to any of these components, then it signifies that Hue encountered an error connecting to one of those Hadoop components. To summarize in this video, we completed the installation of Hue. We went through installing all of the components in the terminal window, and we logged in through the web interface and created a unique user. In the next and final video, we will use this user through Hue in the next section to create a table and run a query through Hive, based on the data that we downloaded previously in Section 7. We will then spend some time at the end reviewing all of the content that we have learned throughout the video series, and what new tools and skills you now possess that can be deployed.